Hi, good day. Welcome to CMS. Let's go now for the next step, which is the management and cost control for our project. We will consider that we already started the project and need to make full management like time and cost control during our execution. And now that will be our concern in this and in the coming videos. So let's see now how CMS will make for you a full schedule and cost management for your project. So our target now is to make a full management and control for the time and for the cost during our execution. What does it mean? We need to monitor our project performance in monthly basis and to know the status of our project against our plan. Is our project on track? We are going behind the schedule or ahead of the schedule? We are over budget or we are within our budget. This is very important for any project manager to confirm during his execution of his project. CMS will help us to make all these activities and will give us a clear and comprehensive report in monthly basis and full dashboard to present and illustrate our actual status and will give us also the forecasted value and forecasted period required to complete our project execution. Let's see now how CMS will deal with the project management of your project. Click in the management and cost control. We'll find here in the management and cost control a new buttons. First one is the earned value, which is the value of your completed work. How we'll deal with this. Overall cost control. How CMS will give you a cost control over all your project. The resources cost control. How CMS will make a cost control for all your project resources like this. How will make a cost control for the materials. All kind of your civil materials. As we see concrete, steel, block and the mortars and plaster and cement and sand. How also CMS will make for you a, a cost control for your manpower. Carpenters, steel fixers, masons, plasters and steel fixers. We'll see how CMS will make for you this control during the project execution and will expect for you what is required to complete your project. CMS will give you monthly status report and monthly dashboard automatically and we'll see in our videos how this will be generated and presented. So let's start to make a proper project management in your project and to confirm and to know about your performance you must have the planned value but not only for the activity you must have the planned value till the moment till today till the date of the report and the actual cost not only also for the activity you need also till the moment and the earned value till the moment which is related to the actual completion till today or till the date of your report when the three informations are available CMS will make for you a full project management and give you the full status report and all the required KPIs and the performance indications let's see how to start this one the management so let's start with the earned value we have to inform CMS about the actual progress till today first we need to go for step one click to run Go to step two. Okay. Then go for step three. Click to render. Okay. Same as completed rendering. Here in the value. Go to step four. Okay. That's step four. Insert the completed percentage. That's it. Here you have to insert the actual completed percentage. How much you complete for each activity. As we said the commencement date was in the 1st of November. Now we are in the 1st of January 2020. That means two months passed. As we'll see here, there is already previous percentage ins inserted for the CMS. That's for the previous months. Because as we said now we are in the second month, 100% of the excavation. 
of course you will keep it and you will add the, the new completed percentage according to the actual on site we finish the full backfilling with road base under the BCC 100% we finish also 100% of the anti termite and 100% of the BCC under foundation and 15% of the RCC foundation and 10% of the strap beam and, su and substructure block work we finish almost 30 percent for the solid 20 and 30 percent of solid 15 cents that's the all completed activities till end of last month which is the date of report today we are in third or fourth of january we are making the report for december 2019 that means we need the all the required or all the completed activities till end of december 2019 so that's the completed activities of course as we said before same as give you here the weight for the completed activity again it's the project here it's not zero it's considered as zero because it is already very very small weight for the hundred percent of this strap beam we finish only ten percent so it is can be neglected but there is a value here so here the earned value for each activity what else we completed we have also the overhead the project overhead how much finish how much we pay for the overhead because that's as we agreed before we have here a total amount for the overhead so this also the overhead which we have to pay in monthly basis also must be considered because that's part of our expenses which shall be in the second month approximate eight percent at the end you will find here the total earned value till today which is the value of the completed work the earned value is the amount of the completed work till end of December with 4,143 including all the overhead expenses you can observe here this amount is the total budget of the project as we confirm it in the project budget he is telling you here the cumulative earned value till the previous month which is month one was 1 million 670 so the net earned value which is completed in month two is two million four hundred seventy three now we have the earned value let's go for step five click and insert the earned value what to insert already same is calculated as you see here the first month you have the earned value as uh, this the second month you have the earned value what you need to do is to copy the appeared monthly earned value manually for each month what does it mean whatever written here in last cell you have to write it again manually why to consider it and fix it to the next month so you have to write here two million four hundred seventy three three six seven he will ask you for password our password is cms upper case so you will only copy the same number two million four hundred seventy three three hundred sixty seven now you complete it now you calculated the earned value for your project till the month you are doing the report accordingly which is the last previous month and now we need to continue and check how CMS will complete the schedule and cost management for your project let's go for the management to proceed for the step two which is actual schedule we have to insert now the actual schedule are we finished these activities on time or not what are the actual dates to start and finish this activity so let's go now for the actual schedule which is the same schedule and as we informed before that we have to use this to insert the actual schedule you will find a new percentage here came which is a completed percentage which you already inserted before in the earned value page so now we have the earned value for the project and for each activity which with the actual completion for each activity and we already have before by CMS calculation the planned value 
when easily you are making a comparing now between the planned and the actual you will know your status for each activity for example the excavation must must be completed 100% and it's already completed 100% backfilling the same 100% and 100% if you come here to check the BCC it's planned to be completed by 100% and also actual you complete 100% for raft foundation planned to be completed 51% but you only completed 15% the stripe beam considered to be calculated 43% but you consider but you completed only 10 percent first let's tell how cms calculated the planned value he is of course considering the planned start and the planned finish and he is making the balance job also this delay is reflected on the schedule as you saw here because there is a delay happening in the bcc and instead of 9 of december it's finished 20th of december that's there is a delay happening also here in the foundation this information will make you think and consider a mitigation plan for your next activities how we will absorb or how we will cover this kind of delay so you have a lot of ways to mitigate your delay by increasing your resources to complete the raft try to complete the raft on time instead of 30 of January if you finish actually in 20th of January that means you will make a proper mitigation by increasing your manpower so you have to think how to absorb and recover your delay okay so what to do now with this information or what CMS will do with this information now we have actually the planned value and the earned value here as you said the planned value for each activity separately where is the planned value for full project till last month the cash flow which is processed and generated by CMS is a planned value what does it mean this month which is second month you shall complete it work with six million eight hundred ninety but instead of six million something you finish only four million something that's why you already your actual completion is 1.66 percent instead of 2.44 percent in, in the second month and we'll see all this information in the report when we will reach for report and you can see this also clearly in the in the graph or the progress baseline and progress recovery here as you see here that's the progress baseline the blue one is the planned value the gray one is the progress recovery now we have some delay because of the delay which will have which happened already in the raft bcc and anyhow this will be clear in the dashboard when we reach for the dashboard so let's continue now already now CMS have the information about the planned value and the earned value the balance now is that the information regarding the actual cost now CMS need the actual cost for the activities to allow to give you the full information about your cost performance and the status and the expected required cost to complete your project which is called estimate at compilation or estimate to compilation let's go for the overall cost we'll find this chart this chart have also the same WBS the codes for each activity all the activities the planned value the actual cost here's the period and planned start and planned finish what we need to do here in this page you have to insert the actual cost for each activity on its time what does it mean when you see here the bar chart you will find front of each activity its planned value you don't have anything to do regarding this same is distribute the planned cost for each activity within time according to the work program or the or schedule so it is distributed there in weekly manner what we need to do now is to start following the steps let's go for step one okay then step two okay see miss completing preparing the project cost go to step three step three 
enter the actual cost in the pink cells. Here, all the pink cells. As we inform it, now we need to insert the actual cost according to our expenses. We find here the actual cost for this excavation is appeared. 90, total 90,000. For last month, we'll start also inserting the actual cost. Suppose here for the backfilling, we, it cost us 80,000 dirham. The entity might cost us 20,000. Better to insert the actual cost in the actual dates of execution. We are talking here about the dates of the execution, not the dates of paying. Maybe we will pay your expenses in BDC, the post date checks or uh, in credits or whatever. No, that's not our concern. Our concern is the dates of the execution. When you start this activity and finish, that is required. When the equipment come to came to the site and start activity, that's the required date. No matter when you will pay. Okay? So the BC under foundation, 50,000, 40,000, 25,000. That's your actual cost for the PCC under under foundation. For the RCC foundation, which will cost us more, almost 4 million if you finish 100%, but actually you finish only 15%. It consumed you approximate 600,000 according to your actual cost, which you will provide it from your accountant and distribute it like this. Also the strap beam, you will insert the actual cost, cost you till now 9,000 dirham, the foundation cost you till now 600,000 dirham, and the balance activity is the substructure block. As you see here in our, in, in the schedule, there is one shaded color date which is the automatically considered CMA is considered here the last date of the report as we inform it CMA is making a report for each month automatically and is considered that's what the latest month and if you open your system anytime you will find CMS automatically monitoring for your performance you have to add your actual compilations and the actual cost for him only to allow him make the proper report automatically for substructure block work it's also considered again you will provide the cost for any for uh, for the materials or for the equipment which you already doing for you the work again you will mention for your actual cost for the material or the equipment which you already executed inside don't consider the materials which on the store what I mean that if you provide 100,000 blocks but you use the only 30,000 blocks you will mention here the cost of the 30,000 blocks don't consider the cost of 100,000 blocks because this 100,000 blocks didn't consider in your earned value yet you cannot put it in your payment as a contractor no the cost which you have to provide here is the cost for the executed activities this is very important otherwise CMS will give you a wrong results will not reflect the actual reality we have also the expense of the overhead which shall be entering monthly expenses it's for such items like supervision it's according of course your actual expenses you will insert your expense that's the actual cost till now till this month 31st of December which is the date of the report then go for step 4 click to render ok project all cost report is ready now we will have all the actual all the planned and the actual cost for the completed tasks we will find here the planned cash flow which have the required cash flow every month and that's the actual till now we expend only for first month and second month okay let's see 
what CMAs did with this information. Can go back for the schedule. We'll find here the actual cost came for each activity in the schedule. Now CMAs have the actual cost and the planned value and the earned value. How CMS will use this data to provide the status report and dashboard and then we'll go for resources cost control and check also how CMS will use this resources cost control in the final dashboard. And let's see now how CMS will use this information which he already generated and you already inserted to him to generate a status report. CMS will give you a status report for the overall project performance. Let's go for status report. As you see here, to start the status report, you just only follow these steps. Click to run. Step one completed, go for step two. Okay. Continue. Same is completing preparing the status report, which was step two, go for step three. As you see, you are not doing any efforts, you will just making a click. Status report is ready, thanks for waiting. Now you have a ready status report, which is giving you the status for each activity and the comprehensively the project. Here is the description of your, of your project. Here is the status report till giving you this month. The, here you have work breakdown structure and the description of the activity. The plan for each activity, the actual cost for each activity, the earned value which already completed for each activity and the cost variance for each activity. As you will see, we will have two type of performance. We have performance per activity and we'll have another performance for the project comprehensively. So that's for all the activities. Is this activity above budget or within budget? Of course, for all the red color, that means it is above the budget. For example, for the RCC Foundation, the earned value 595. What's the earned value? The value of the completed work. Because as we informed before, or as we inserted before, we completed only 15% of this activity which is 15% from the planned value for this activity, which is equal 595. That means you are over budget in this activity. Within budget in the backfilling and the excavation, we are over budget in this block work. Totally, we are over budget with 597,000. How this calculated? That's the, the variance between the earned value, which is the amount or the value of the completed work and the actual cost which is paid. This part of report for the performance per activity. Let's go for the, let's go down, we'll find here the monthly performance, the full project performance. We are here in month two, the planned value, which should be completed till month two, till end of December, must be 6,890,676. Earned value for this month only it's two million four hundred seventy three. The cumulative actual cost till end of December four million seven hundred forty one. The cumulative earned value till end of December four million one hundred forty three. One, two, three. The planned value, the cumulative actual cost, and the cumulative earned value. According to these three numbers, which CMS calculated and provide here in the report, CMS arrange the report what CMS gave you here here give you the cost variance as it is per minus that means you are over budget here we have the KPIs which is the cost performance index and scheduled performance index cost performance index as everybody knows it is the indication for your performance in cost when it is below one that means you are over budget why it is 0.8 7 because the value of the CBI is the value of earned value over the actual cost because you are over budget it's come 0.87 and here the SPI which is scheduled performance index which indicates for you your performance in the progress in time because you should complete work with 6,890,000 but actually you completed a work with 
4 million 143 your SPI or your performance indicator telling you you are 0.6 below 1 also because the SPI is the earned value above the planned value of course if this number comes more than 1 that means you are ahead here is also the schedule variance which is the the amount of the tasks which you didn't did according to your plan so that's the information required in your monthly status report what else yeah CMS is giving you charts for your performance he's telling you here the blend value with the blue color the actual cost which is the orange color the earned value which is the green color and the schedule variance and cost variance when just you are seeing this graph or chart you will understand what's the project situation till last month your earned value below the actual cost and below the planned value your earned value below the planned value that means you are in delay your earned value below the actual cost that means you are over budget when you have your cost variance and schedule variance below zero that means you are in delay and above your budget you can of course add the label as you like to, to present the number all this charts you can modify as you can what else CMS will give you in the report this data the report till date 31st of December all this will come automatically okay here's the plan duration current months we are in some in months two plan finish date according to the plan forecast is finished date according to the delay which happened the variance in days here is the planned value which should be completed here is the total earned value which actually completed and here is the actual cost which actually expended here is the earned value for this month here is the cost variance here is the schedule variance that's the CBI the cost performance index and that's the SPI the schedule performance index here is the actual completed work per percentage and that's the planned completed work also per percentage like this you have the status report for today now let's see how CMS will make for you a project forecasting CMS here propose some assumption or assumed some assumption first that he's asking you if the time schedule is strictly impact the project of course is impacting the project if you have another information just tell him but the time schedule is impacting the project this question only just to make him consider the delay and the delay cost in his calculation so of course we have of course the time schedule is affecting and and impacting the project second question CMS asking for the maximum delay penalty according to your contract which commonly it is a 10% of the project price that's the maximum delay penalty so you will insert here your percentage your agreed percentage third question he's asking for the daily delay penalty how much will be deducted from the contractor in case of delay every day actually see miscalculated according to the common practice of the contract which is the total amount or the total price of the of the project times the maximum delay penalty all this divided by the total duration for the project per days times five one hundred eighty eight thousand seven hundred three every day of delay there is another cost also for the delay yes it will be the daily administration cost when you have a delay you will pay this amount for the client or it will be deducted from you from your amount if you are a contractor plus you will have another expenses which is the your administration cost every day CMS consider this administration cost from the total project overhead if you need to change you can change of course also if this delay penalty not like the same equation which I informed now you can change according to your agreement so 
these four items you can change according to your project contract and agreement here CMA is informing you that the maximum delay and administration penalties will be 2 million 400 thousand that's for how many days because you delay till now approximate 11 days according to the status till now he's telling you that's the that's the maximum of your delay penalties then CMS start making his calculation to estimate the cost at completion let's have a brief about this calculations only for your information what I require for you only this to allow CMS make his calculation and estimate the project cost at completion of course as we know according to PMI there is three or four equations to forecast the estimate at completion we have here three cases used by BMI to estimate the cost at completion case one if the value of cost performance index are always unstable and when you have every month the CPI is not unstable so BMI didn't consider the CPI in his calculations he have an equation telling the estimate at completion is the actual cost plus the budget at completion minus the earned value and it will give this amount remember that our budget at completion is 249 million eight hundred and six thousand three hundred seventy zero that's the budget at completion so that's our budget that's the budget of your project that's the amount which shall be expended in your project but according to your delay PMI telling that in case one if the CBI are not stable so your estimate at completion and instead of 249 it will be 250 that means we need an amount of 245 to complete your project the second case if the value of CBI are always stable and if you have a stable CBI every month almost you have the same performance index for the cost so he will consider the CBI in this in this case the equation it will be estimate at completion equal budget divided by the CBI in our case because we have a very low CBI your cost will be approximate 285 instead of 249 of course a big variance in case 3 if value of SPI which is the scheduled performance index is considered strictly impact the project what will be the equation that's the equation estimate at completion equal the actual cost plus the budget at completion minus the earned value till now divided by CBI times SPI in this case if you consider this and because we have a very less SBI and very less CBI your budget at completion will be 472 million instead of what instead of 249 so now we have a three figures or three values which one you will use which one is correct to to present and to tell that's my budget at completion this or this or this CMS also solve this problem and he will recommend for you what are the considered and the reasonable number according to your performance and according to the maximum delay penalty where he give this recommendation here in this conclusion he is telling you in the conclusion that the project is over budget and that's true as we saw the project is behind schedule and they need to crash or fast track this also correct as we saw because the time schedule strictly impacts the project consider case 3 we saw case 3 which is 473 million but the calculated SPI which is 0.6 as we have it exceed the maximum impact so we will neglect the SPI value and consider only the maximum penalties and because of value of CBI is unstable till now because we are still in month 1 or month 2 that means we don't have another figures to know if the CBI is stable or not we don't have three four or five months before to compare with to know either it is stable or not so CMS telling us 
because of the CBI is unstable till now so we, con we can consider case 1 that means we'll consider case 1 plus the maximum penalty here is informing us the estimate at compilation is 250 estimate to compilation is 245 plus the delay and the administration penalty which is 2,405 that means the estimate at compilation is 252 million and the estimate to completion to complete the project is 248 million and the variance at completion is minus 3 million that means if we if we continue in this situation our expenses will be 3 million more than our budget at completion or more than our project budget that's how CMS give the report and forecast the estimation at completion for your project just let me clarify what the meaning of the, the SPI impact exceeds the maximum impact if you remember CMS here use this all information to make the calculation and to provide what the del what the maximum delay impact we have here this amount as a maximum delay which is considered as only 1% that means if the SPI below 0.99 it will not be considered according what according to this information because CMS incorporating the schedule performance index and the delay on the schedule we have only 11 days delay on the schedule but yeah but the SPI is 0.6 which is which is indicated for too much delay but actually but the actual delay is 11 day in the schedule maybe this too much delay happened because of work in the non-critical path as you'll see later in the later stages in your project so what CMS is doing CMS is incorporating the value of the of the SPI and the actual delay on schedule on the project schedule and that's very important and very good advantage and opportunity by CMS for the users Accordingly, he neglected the SPI, which is 0.6 in this case. Yeah, the project is is impacted by the time schedule, but to use the SPI, it's not logic. As we saw now, it give us a double price of the project, and it is not logic. So CMS already neglected, and instead of it, he used the case one because he considered it the CPI is unstable because it is not. We don't have another references. If we have another another references, CMS will make comparison between all the CBIs and they will inform either CBI is stable during our project or not accordingly he will choose between these now we have the full conclusion and the full report from CMS project wise and next video will explain how CMS will give you a cost control for each resources in the resources cost control thanks for watching and see you in next video